What's up guys, this is James Blanc with OnRPG.com with your weekly news update for the week of June 24th. And this week only at OnRPG, Mike Dot continues his coverage leading up to the launch of Guild Wars 2 with an overview video of the World vs. World system, which he describes as basically the capture and hold mode of regular PvP, except on a huge scale. We're talking 2,000 players from three different servers, raging war over four different territories. The system is so expansive that it's only a small slice of the many events you can take part of. Proxor offers a closer look at the DayZ mod in his official First Impressions article. We've been promoting this game quite a bit lately and with good reason. It's rare to find a good sandbox. Even more rare to find a good online zombie survival game. But to find a combination of the two for as low of a price as DayZ is absolutely unheard of. You definitely want to pick up this game if you're at all into first person shooter titles. And meanwhile, Take a look at Proxor's article for all the details. And speaking of first-person shooter titles, Mike Dot offers his impressions of Webson's Arctic Combat. If simplistic shooters with solid mechanics and a splash of chaos are your forte, then this game is right up your alley. This week, Dizzy PW returns in the Season 2 premiere of Terra for the Federation. After allying with the Federation hero Elion, who was thought dead, he sets out to face a band of Gula pirates known for enslaving and even eating Pafori in Ulen. Don't miss out on this epic reunion of Dizzy and his friends, and get ready for the continuation later this week. Ardura asks the question of what the right balance is between community interaction and not ruining spoilers in his The Secret World column, Faithless is He. Funcom continues to run alternative reality games tied into The Secret World, and we're in the midst of one right now. If you go to Funcom.com and click anywhere that's not a link, then press 33 on your keyboard, you'll see just what we're talking about. Bakerman Brad makes his debut at OnRPG this week with a look at the separation between console and online gamers, and how a culture of pros versus noobs seems to be creating a massive hurdle for anyone trying to seek out the other side of the spectrum. This article might hit real close to home. Read up on Bakerman's first ever article and see what you think. Also this week, don't miss out on RPG's final reveal of the Koihimi Musio Cosplay Girls. Voting is up until Tuesday, though Sushi Monster is maintaining a monster lead. The race is still close enough, so cast your votes now to see your favorite take home the gold and glory at Anime Expo. Also feel free to try out the game itself as it is entered open beta, and you know you'll see Dizzy PW testing it out. Dragon Nest kicks off the news this week with its reveal of the Tinkerer class. Nexon introduces the class in an ever-familiar audition-style video commonly used by the Maple Story team, which usually makes for a couple of laughs. According to the trailer, the Tinkerer is from the future, good with explosives, sleeps with a stick of dynamite, and has a pretty badass robot companion. See who tries out for the job in this creative class introduction. So, did I get it? CCP recapped their E3 demo this week leading up to the launch of Inferno last Tuesday. Inferno invites new players with a lower barrier to entry, empowers veterans with more control over their wars, and entices combatants of all types with advanced new weaponry. Then wraps all of this in upgraded graphics, creating a visually stunning experience. Check out their E3 recap coverage to see the magnitude of this expansion. Heroes and Generals is getting serious about beta testing and launched a clever new trailer showcasing both their creativity and unique gameplay options that keep you informed on the ever-changing persistent territory map via iOS, browsers, or pretty much whatever internet-enabled device you can get your hands on while out of game. Big news rolled in from Terra this week as senior producer Brian Knoxer revealed plans to create PvP-only territories in the game. What does this mean? Well, guilds competing to control these territories will have to enter week-long battles against all of the other guilds competing for the seat, with the most dominant faction taking control of the Vanark seat at the end of the week. Get more details on the coming changes in the news section at onrpg.com. Dragon Saga is preparing for a serious slew of updates this summer, known collectively as the Legendary Update. This involves a new combo system making PvP more skill-based than ever before, as well as a major overhaul of the game's graphics and interface. More is expected to come as summer moves along, so keep an eye on this game as it evolves into something way beyond its current form. Getting to the giveaways this week, we don't know what to say about Smite other than people just adore this title. 
proof. Well, 100 keys haven't lasted on, on RPG since we started putting them up over a week ago. But the good news is we still have a few more coming, so keep your eyes out on our Twitter this week for your shot to grab one. Oh, don't worry, viewers. Be one of the first 10 posters asking for a key, and we'll send one to your YouTube account. Also, Grand Fantasia launched a new pirate theme expansion this week and are giving players Sprite King packs to help them catch up to the new level cap. Our first batch was gone in a flash, but we have more coming early in the week. As if we don't have enough awesome first-person shooter titles on the market right now, swing by On RPG or our sister site MMO Hut early in the week to snag keys for the North American version of Ghost Recon Online. Oh, and the first five who asked for the key in the comments will be the first we send keys to, so don't miss out. On one final note, on RPG forums are undergoing an upgrade, and we're looking to compile bugs and suggestions into a thread. So check for the link in the description if you have bugs to report. And that's going to be it for this week's news. If you're looking for more details on the topics in the news update, be sure to check for the links in the description below. Otherwise, just head over to onrpg.com. But don't forget to comment for beta keys and hit that like button. I'm James Blonde. See you out there, gamers.